Mr. President. The majority leader. Well, here we are, Mr. President. The eyes of the nation are on the Senate. But tonight, Senate Democrats blocked coronavirus relief from moving forward. Republican and Democratic senators just spent days collaborating on a bipartisan way, in a bipartisan way, with these working groups that we set up. Democratic ideas were incorporated. Major changes were made at their request. But today, the Speaker of the House was back in town after taking a week off and poured cold water on the whole bipartisan process. And incredibly, what we witnessed a few hours ago was Senate Democrats voting to filibuster the bipartisan package that they helped craft over the last two days. Wasn't even a vote on final passage, simply a vote to limit further debate after which there have been 30 more hours to continue to negotiate if they wanted to drag this out endlessly. After that, of course, the futures market tanked in anticipation of an ugly tomorrow based upon an absence of the bipartisan agreement we've been seeking. They voted to block specifically surge resources for hospitals, a massive expansion in unemployment benefits, historic relief for small businesses to prevent mass layoffs, direct checks for millions of Americans, and expanding health care workers' access to the masks that they need. Even if Democrats reverse course tomorrow, tomorrow, the vote they cast today will almost certainly cause more Americans to lose their jobs and more seniors' hard-earned retirement savings to literally evaporate. Our nation cannot afford the game of chicken. We can't afford the cynical partisanship that one senior House Democrat owned up to just the other day. Here's what he said. This is a tremendous opportunity to restructure things to fit our vision. It's an unconscionable statement to view this as a partisan opportunity. This is, Mr. President, a national emergency, not a partisan opportunity. Doctors, nurses, Small business employees, laid off Americans, and vulnerable seniors need our help right now. So here's the way ahead, colleagues. We're going to vote at 945 in the morning. The same vote we had at 6 o'clock tonight. We're going to vote at 945 in the morning, 15 minutes after the markets open and see whether there's a change of heart. So that vote will occur unless we can finally reach an agreement sometime between now and then. So I just want all our colleagues to know when the next vote will be in the absence of an agreement. 9.45 in the morning, 15 minutes after the market's open. I suggest the absent quorum. The clerk will call the roll.